bringing you an important news alert. Hello, I'm Skabaka Shurtigal, your host for this portion of the show. During the recording of Sourcecast, the Sourcecasters ran into a bundle load of problems. You don't know the power of the dark yeah. side. And Lord Souls of the Wolf said that, and I Kylestis decided to talk back to him. I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. Here's looking at you, kid. Once they were caught up in the world of words, however, Leslie the Fox came online and tried to intervene. You talking to me? Uh, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Toto, we're not in Kansas anymore. I was just having trouble trying to decide if this world was, but they believed that really, all anybody was trying to say was this. May the force be with you. Either that, or this. There's no place like home. Or even this. You can't handle the truth. After an eye told swords. E.T. phone home. First you decided to end the conversation and left with this statement. Mama always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. It was only after he left that Swords made fun of him. Run, Forrest, run! And I, upon seeing just how cruel Swords could be, left with this statement. I'll be back. Then Swords decided to jet her as well. There's no crying in baseball. Swords realized that he was all alone and began to leave. Um, open the pod bay doors, Hal. Then Swords left with this to say. I'm king of the world! Thank you very much for listening to this news report. Now, back to your regular broadcast. Here I am. This is me. I come to this world so wild and free. Here I am. So young and strong, right here in the place. Welcome to the fifth episode of Sourcecast. I'm Anayu Kylestis. I'm Rusty the Fox. I'm Swords of the Wolves. And I'm Skobaka Shurtigal, still not a girl. <laughs> <laughs> and we're the Sourcecasters? <laughs> yeah, I don't We're the Sourcecasters. <laughs> <laughs> because you weren't expecting to be listening to the source cast. You were supposed to be listening to that whatever explicit version of the source cast that's right next to us on iTunes. So, so surprise. surprise. Surprise! We're the kid friendly version. In case you ask, you, uh, if you were trying to go for the whatever Linux source, source cast on iTunes, <laughs> you're at the wrong one. This is the clean version. We're kid this is friendly. Kid friendly version. Mostly. And then I use hyper right now. <laughs> yeah, she's been drinking Mountain Dew Code Red. I've only had one sip. That's the bad thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Well, well anyway, then. we've got a great episode lined up for you. We've got plenty to talk about and little time to do it, so let's get started. All right. Let's. Yep. <laughs> So now we'll get into the site and forum news, and I'll hand it over to our guest speaker, Tova, to talk about the Lion King source design that was supposed to be there but got scrapped. Yeah, um, well, I got to take a small look at it. It wasn't completed. It was basically like question mentioned in her news on the Lion King source. It was red and orange. But because it wasn't completed, it was gray. Anyway, um, I uh, it's actually mentioned in the um, in the news in the comments that the gray wolf actually scrapped the design for now, and she's going to be working on a new one. That sounds interesting. Actually, um, there's a few people. Well, not a few people, but there's a couple people that I know that. Um, aren't too happy about the design and um, I didn't really like the uh, the banner at first because it kind of looked like it was rushed and not like the way it looks now mm -hmm. but I you have to think that if there's a new design it could bring more attention to the site <laughs> join send fan arts and images and characters <laughs> and the whole fireworks and it's, it, it would be good for the site, but what I don't really like is the animated style of the banner. It's like, it kind of looks like a DVD cover, you know, 
I don't know how to, how to describe it, but... Shiny? Yeah, it's shiny. <laughs> it's all weird looking, to me anyway. And I don't, I don't really like that. I like the way it looks like it was actually animated by like the people who took time to animate Mufasa and Scar and all the other characters. Basically the animators of the film. I was surprised, because I actually found out in the shop box. Kanye and Jinja, they were speaking about it, and Jinja posted the link, so I found it interesting. And yeah, so what do you guys think? Well, I for well, one I... am... Oh, sorry, Rusty, go ahead. No, go, no you go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, I for one am glad they're not using that ghastly gray background. <laughs> yeah, yeah but I don't... gray background did kind of clash with the idea of the Lion King. I don't think it was finished. I think that was where the orange was supposed to go. I hope so. <laughs> um, f- unfortunately, I never really actually took the time to see the uh, the proposed design, and I was wondering if is there any way is there any way like somebody had saved a screenshot of the uh, preview design and um, like is like is someone going to plan like this is how it is now this is how it was going to be but this is how, this is the new design that's going to be no one has ever seen sort of thing like when it actually comes out. Mm-hmm. Do you, do, you, do you think someone has uh, has done that already? Or is doing that? Probably not, but if you want, I could probably fish out the link in the um, shop box on the site, because no one really talks on it. Well, that's... it was just on the French side, wasn't it? Yeah, the new design was only on the French side, but... Um... If it's been reverted, it probably won't be there. But I bet... I bet Grey Wolf saved it. You probably. But I'm not sure. As, you as probably a have to go ask Grey Wolf. It's Grey Wolf who's, who's uh, leading it, right? Uh, yes, I believe she was the one who was leading the graphics design part of that. Has the has the has the group responsible really uh, said anything about any sort of timeline or release of the new one, or any sort of status update as far as that goes, or are they pretty much staying mute for the moment? I haven't heard anything. Tova, have you heard anything about uh? A timeline for the release of the actual new graphics? No, actually, um, Question only said in the news that Grey Wolf would be working on it this weekend, but this was posted, I think, Monday, so it should be out maybe next week or the week after, because I don't, I don't really know how long it took for, um, Grey Wolf to actually make that version of the, um, well, the, of that design, mm-hmm. but, it shouldn't take too long, um, at least I don't think it should. <laughs> I don't design sites, but yeah. Well, anyhow, so let's move on uh, to our l- next little bit of site and forum news while you're still here with us. Uh, how about that Robin Hood source? <laughs> oh, really? Robin, yeah. Oh, that's right, Source hasn't seen it yet. There, yeah, we have a know. Robin Hood source. Wow, okay, I'm going there right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Borders the other day, and I saw a Robin Hood DVD, and I was half considering getting it. But... Oh, the irony! <laughs> yeah. No, don't, don't, so, don't worry, don't worry, Swords. The discovery and news of the existence of such a site hit us like a slap in the face, both on you and myself. Yes, uh, actually, interesting bit of news, as put by seat in the news. Uh, it was designed graphically by Mighty Balto and the whole information aspect was created last night. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Really? Mighty did a good job on this. Yeah, for being so rushed. Yeah. Mighty is actually a girl. Yes. Oh. Yes. I totally forgot. uh, (laughs) Hopefully she won't... uh, I don't know, never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything anymore. Yeah. There's a bit of gender confusion on this website. <laughs> Everyone, nobody knows what gender anyone is anymore. There's <laughs> gender confusion. <laughs> right. Uh, well, for, for being uh, quote unquote rushed, I'm looking through the uh, the pages on it and I'm actually, this, is actually, this actually looks really good. Like, for being so um, sudden. Mm-hmm. It's not complete. Uh, it's still not com- entirely complete, but it's there's a lot of stuff in here already. Yep. 
Well, they've been planning it for a, a while, actually. For a couple of months now, I think. I'm kind of surprised we didn't hear anything about it ahead of time. Yeah. I know, right? What were you well, saying you were... earlier, Tova, about there being, like, a trial version of it? Yeah, um, Steep sort of opened the site so everyone could see, because there was um, a, a design before the official one today, and people actually got to comment on the design and to say what they didn't like. Like, for example, people said the banner, because it kind of looked empty. People said the color, because the colors didn't really match. Like, some things clashed, some boxes were uneven, and all this stuff. And then I guess after Steep removed the ability for people to see Robin Hood's source, hmm. and I guess they redesigned it. Um, and people gave their comments, and they redesigned it. So, it, to be honest, it actually looks better now than it did <laughs> back then, but even back then I liked the design, so I'm sort of biased maybe, I don't know. The both designs are okay, so I, this one I actually like better, <laughs> you know, it's 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 not one of the most popular movies, so it might not last as long. Like, I know Lady and the Tramp lasted about two weeks before it so sort of died down, and there's hardly anything going on besides the shop box going and a few characters and images and art coming in. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. There's, there's not really much going on over there, but, you know, it's always like that with the new sites. Everyone is all happy. Oh, look, there's a new site. Let's go over there. You know, while you said that you bring up, you brought up the whole popularity thing and lasting of a, of a site. It almost seems like with how fast the source, uh, the uh, sources are coming up, it almost seems like Steed's goal is just no matter how popular, unpopular, specific animated movie is. It seems like his goal is to just create a sort of archive and informational area about these different. Um, about the, these different movies for people to uh, just really research a little bit and also have the community back up there to, uh, so yeah. they could talk about it. Yeah, that's the impression I got. Mm. Yeah, this, but no matter how popular or unpopular specific movie is. <laughs> well, if, if you go on Google and you search um, Baltasaurus, for example, further on you would get, since it, they're all linked together, you would get Lion King, Lady in the Trap, and all the other sources. So. If you search one, you sort of get the whole package. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Which is always good. Yeah. Some sources are completely dead. Like, I know uh, Princess and the Frog. In my opinion, that was sort of a waste time. No offense to anyone who worked on it, but there isn't really much... I actually visit it, visit it. At least I don't. I don't know if any of you will visit it, but... I it, just think it was a little preemptive. And it just came out, like. Well, yeah, see, yeah. the the whole the whole beef I have with it is that is because Princess and the Frog is the newest of all the movies that are mm -hmm. that are in there, or and now with Tailspin Source, it's also a TV show. And the thing with Princess and the Frog, even though I know, I you, we all know that Steve was incredibly excited for it. These other movies had time to ferment with the uh, with the public and. Uh, performing and becoming actually becoming classics and whatnot, and I'm pretty sure, and I don't know. To me, I'm pretty, I'm much more open into getting more like Robin Hood or Baltasaurus or something like that than something so new, Princess and the Frog. Like I'm not saying that Princess and the Frog, the movie itself, isn't bad because it isn't nowhere close to being bad. It's actually re like we, are, it's like beating on a on a. Uh, on a dead horse per se, it's, it's a good movie, but it's still so new compared to these other movies that are classics. Yeah, yeah, pretty much like we said last episode too. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I haven't watched the movie. I've seen little bits and pieces. I guess I'll have to watch it now that there's a source that I don't really know anything about. <laughs> <laughs> but um, if I were to put them in order, like the sources. Based on activity, I would say Balto is number one, since it's the oldest and everyone loves wolves. And after that, I think it would be Spirit Source. I'm not too sure. And then Lion King.